Why does Osiris sit on a double cube? The throne upon which Osiris sits is clearly depicted as the square of four, as it transforms into the square of five through the principle of root five, on which all the five proportions rest. It is therefore shown as the seat of the world of transformation through death and rebirth, represented by Osiris. So this quote was taken from one of my, the classic of sacred geometry books by Robert Lawler. Robert Lawler put out the first book that I ever studied on sacred geometry. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to explain the fascination, how we transform from four into five. It's kind of like a form of shape shifting. So we want to know what's the fascination with kings sitting on thrones that are based on a double square. So let's construct a double square here. So if, if this unit is one, one by one, we know that this is the square of two. And we, and we know that the square of two is um, four units. So that's so this square, that the throne that Osiris sits on, which is the seat of the world, sits on a two by two or four square units. But something morphs and shifts that the actual throne that the ancient Egyptian king is sitting on has, has a distance a bit more. This is called a, a gnomon, gnomon, like an L shape. So this distance, this extra gnomon, is called root five. Um, so, and, and, and as we saw before, root five is 2.236. It's a bit more than two. So if this is two, this little bit there is called 0.236. And, and if you were doing um, uh, Pythagoras' theorem, rectangle one by two, the diagonal, is the square of one plus the square of two gives us a calculation called root five. And we know that root two, root three, root five are the harmonics of everything. If you want to become really um, efficient in maths, we need to know square root two, which is here, square root three in a triangle and root five in the double square. So I always found that very fascinating that this ancient knowledge has already been given to us. It's, that's why it's always called royal or secret confidential knowledge. So the information is there, but it's hidden. Um, okay, so I hope, um, so what this means is that when we square, if the side of this square is root five, we know that root five times root five equals five. Because 2.236 times itself gives us five. And five has got to do five fingers, the five pointed star. So five is the key to the golden ratio. So by knowing root five, we know that the golden ratio is one plus the root of five divided by two, and that gave us 1.618. So we need to understand the golden ratio to understand the true value of pi. As we explained, the true value of pi has got to do with phi, which has got to do with root five. Okay, and I'll just show you another um, um, use of the root five, the double square. We have, um, yes, so we have um, we have here Moses' golden altar. So I'd just like to read out a little bit more. Um, we're looking at a picture of Moses here. And it said in Exodus chapter 30, And thou shalt make up an altar to burn incense upon of shittim wood. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be. The two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be of the same. So that means that this altar here was based on one by two, which is the double cube again. So what's this fascination with double cube? We know it's the root five. And thou, thou shalt overlay it with pure gold. And he burnt his incense upon it. And it was a way they, they also had a connection here with the Ark of the Covenant, how they could communicate with the angels. So I'd like to show you where this image came from. Um, we have here a Bible. This is one of from my library here, this is the oldest book. It was written prior to 1828. I know it's 1828 because the priest mentions the date here, 1828. It's a very rare book and I will get it bound. But if we open it up to Exodus chapter 30, um, you'll see that every single page is illustrated. So when we um, get to chapter 30, there's a priest with the breastplate, the high priest.
So you can see here, we've got the cinnamon flower um, and we've got the um, Moses by the altar. So what's this thing, what we're looking at is, why is this root five, this double cube or cubit, a, sanct a sanctity? It's, 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 it was to prepare a communion with God, with the higher energies. So it's just fascinating that um, we've, we've accessed all this knowledge that the ancient Egyptians, the, the original uh, Christian people, they built their temples and altars and thrones based on this harmonic called root five. So um, I'll leave it at that and we'll continue on with why Root 5 is the key to understanding the true value of Pi.